So we're talking about the new NPK. The new N is nutrient or chemical. And it's simply saying, okay, the soil is comprised of three different, very clearly different uh, parameters that we've got to consider to manage. And that's the thing we can do. We can manage the chemistry in the soil, even though it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But at the end of the day, we need to make sure we've got the correct ratio of nutrients there, the calcium, magnesium, the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, and a lot of the trace elements as well. Um, so the next part is the physical condition. Okay, is it aerobic? Has it got the micro and macro aggregates in it? Um, does it have good water and air holding capacity? And calcium magnesium ratio, is that okay? Okay, we, we do testing, get soil testing done to measure that for us. And that really usually represents what the structure of the soil is like anyway. And the key is the biology. So NPK, key biology. Total and active, huge diversity comprising micro and macro life. Um, again, the ones that you can see are the earthworms. If you haven't got 20 to 30 earthworms in the square spade and the spade depth in your soil, you're not anywhere close to where it should be. That's the other thing, that little m message at the bottom there. Be aware that any above ground action will impact the new NPK. Now whether it's uh, stuff that's outside of your control, in other words, weather events, drought, fire, or whether it's um, other actions that you can control, your grazing management, uh, your cropping management, they will all have an impact on your soil fertility, on the new NPK. So it's a lot more than just getting a natural fertiliser and throwing it out there and hoping for the best.